good afternoon, good afternoon, and good afternoon. Welcome once again to Old Blackpool Biker. It's an absolute gorgeous afternoon. There's a bit of wind, so again, apologies. You see shenanigans, chubby's there. Billy's doing well at that one. <laughs> Busy already. It's about just gone four o'clock, but this has been recorded Friday. It might go out later today, it might not. We'll see. Got brilliance up that way. And the mitre is literally just there. If you go up there and just to the right, that's the mitre, commonly known as the smallest pub. Well, honestly, it's so warm. I'll show you something in a minute that you, <laughs> you've not seen for some time, I tell you. I think the phones, I've got a gimbal on, but I think it's, um, I think I've got phones slightly wonky. There's no new there, biker lad. Yeah, there's a few around. Tomorrow, oof. it's, I did say on the video this morning that it's meant to be 28 degrees tomorrow. Yeah, that is a bit wonky. <laughs> so, <laughs> off tangent. So yeah, meant to be 28 degrees tomorrow. I'm calling that about 83, 56, 86, round about 82, 83 in pounds and pence. And wedding chapel just here. Some love it, some don't. Next door, tourist information. And then next to tourist information, you've got a beach house, which I bet there's plenty outside. Glorious afternoon like this, why not? You've got the Vegas Diner over at Road. For those that don't know, it's Pride starting tomorrow as well, so we'll try and cover a little bit of that. If we can. Yeah, so roughly roughly about four, just left four, I could just see the old Woolies clock now. Show you the sea. Let's go down this way a little bit. We'll go back to there. Yeah, there's, there's loads outside. Why not? Uh... Put loads outside the beach house. And a cracking day for it. Oh, blimey. <laughs> it's got to be a bit cold yet, hasn't it? Just a bit. Blackpool Amusements just there. Whew, blimey. That sun, seriously, is warm. I've got my specs on as well, I'm going to end up with marks. <laughs> Rings around my eyes. Because when it's sunny like this, it's difficult to see through the screen at times. One way you get it in your eyes, the other way it's just on the screen. If that makes sense. Depending which way you're facing. Hey up. Sorry, it's spinning around a bit fast again. Oh. I'll tell you, you get a tan in a few minutes around here. Especially with that wind, I've always thought when it's a bit windy you get tan quicker. Is it just me that? Let me know. Put in comments. It's just one of them daft. It's as if it's swirling round, if you know what I mean. It's swirling round so you get tan that bit quicker. Comedy 
carpet. Just point up so you can see. Yeah, so we're on about ten past four. Round about this. backpack on but there's hardly anything in it so I don't know why I'm so warm that's the Albert and the lion just there what used to be the woolies Whoa. now then Linda has said I've got to go up the tower with her Queen Bee when she's next here which I will do but there's no way I'm going on that walk of faith or whatever it's called, you know, the glass floor up there. I remember Stephen saying on one of his videos, still walk on the wild side, he said, I've not been up the town for 30 years, I'm exactly the same. It's got to be a good 30 year, I think I was a kid, last time I went up. So it's probably longer than 30 years ago. I'll bet in the lion. I think I've already mentioned Albert and the Lion, haven't I? And next to the tower, you've got the dungeon, tower dungeon. I bet they're getting tanned outside the Albert and the Lion there. I wouldn't be surprised, you know. It's not quite so windy over that side of the well. It doesn't always work that way, but normally. Sparkling off the sea there now. Spyglass. Do you know, I still can't get used to not being the, the run over. There used to be like a bridge came over, if you remember that. There's only one or two picks of it now. I have shown where it used to go to if you go to the back of the spyglass. There's still part of where it used to start, if you will. But come right over the prom. Remembering that spyglass has been that's been extended slightly. So where it actually says spyglass now, that's probably just about where the bridge used to come over. You know, we're just there ish. And that bit there that runs at the side of Spyglass and Coral Island used to be where you used to get into, the, or you could get into the old central station. And that was your little road, you wouldn't think so now, that came down. Oh, that makes sense. I'll show it better another time. tea time, dinner time, whatever you call it. We've had this one before, haven't we? Dinner to me is 12, 1 o'clock. Then again. Yeah. <laughs> and tea's at 5, 6 o'clock, whatever time you want to call it. Everyone to their own. So yeah, what was that, was it? We are talking about the, um, how hot it's meant to be tomorrow. And someone said, I think it was, I can't remember now, but on comments from this morning, somebody had said, I remember, it's like when you were kids and it was so hot, and I, I replied, was it Jonathan? I, I can't remember now. I replied, yeah, I can remember the summer of 76. Anyone remember that? Are you old enough? If you can, that summer was just... I remember I was still in Sutton in them days. Came here in 78. Sutton in Ashfield, not in I remember going down Alfreton Road. Used to live on Alfreton Road. And you could see the heat haze from the tarmac of Alfreton Road. Literally the heat haze. 
And if I remember rightly, they used to have to get the water pipes, didn't they? You know, the um, the water taps. It's everywhere. There's a resident between Sutton and Mansfield. Um, it's opposite the King's Mill Hospital. And apparently, the, the residents were... The, the residents were... The reservoirs were literally empty. When I was only young then. Was I then nine? But I can remember it. Yeah, that was a hot one, that. Yeah, the standpipes, do you know what I mean? That we, like a tap, if you will, that they put on the corner of a street. And it serviced so many streets in the area. So you'd got water and everyone were taking buckets and <laughs> bowls and what have you. Fill up with some water. If you had any bath water or washing water, that used to go in the toilet system. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the good old days uh... Anyway, the music you can hear, that's coming from Central Pier, just the, the, the gin and prosecco bar, I think they call it, don't they? Yeah. be a cracking weekend get out and do a bit tomorrow hopefully but anyway from the golden mile just outside the life lifeboat station but you've been all right with that little wonder most of all stay safe you know what it is have a cracking day